my name is Rafay Shafiq, and this is my last lecture. My father, Ahmed Shafiq, born and raised in Pakistan, married my mom, Uzma Anwar, also born and raised in Pakistan, on February 28, 1999. A year later, my brother was born in Los Alamitos, California, on February 2, 2000. My older brother was a very cheerful child, and although he didn't eat much and he didn't sleep much, he still was a very energetic person. He always had a smile on his face, and he was always looking to make others smile. And after four and a half years, he was very excited that he was about to get a younger brother. I was born in Downey, California on July 28, 2004. As a baby growing up, I was a complete opposite to my brother. I was not a friendly baby at all, and I cried a lot. I ate a lot of food, and I slept a lot. And I also started to walk a lot earlier than my brother did. He actually didn't walk until after his first birthday, and I was walking when I was 10 months old. One thing I hated the most about growing up was going to Islamic school. Every Sunday, my mom would wake me up early in the morning, and we would go all the way down to Garden Grove, where I would learn about religion. And most of the times, it ended up just being me and my friends messing around, playing soccer, and going to the gift shop, buying stuff, and eating snacks. I don't remember much else from this time, other than my family and I traveling to Pakistan to meet my grandparents, or riding ATVs in Pakistan, which is not legal over here or going to Universal Studios with my grandparents. It was just a, a good time. I do remember that I started to play soccer around this time. My first few teams were just AYSO teams and I was an average player, I didn't stand out too much. As the years went on, I developed more as a player and when I was 10 years old, I joined my first club. My first club team was an experience because I got the opportunity to play with older kids. Everyone on the team was a year older than me. Being a year younger, I was always the smallest player on the field, but it didn't change the fact that my coach had very high expectations for me. The expectations that my coach had set on me really helped me to become a better athlete. Through these years, I developed a passion for the game that has stuck with me since. I've experienced many great victories and terrible losses. As my elementary schools came to a close, I embarked on a new journey into middle school and high school. I breezed through middle school because I found many of the classes very easy and I didn't have to do much homework for them. During this time, I hung out a lot with my friends because of how much time I had. I made many new friends and I strengthened bonds that I had from before. As I transitioned to high school, I heard from people around me that it would be the best years of my life. I'm half and half on that because sometimes I feel like high school is the worst thing ever because of all the work I get. But at the same time, I realized that I'm making memories every day. I started to realize how little time we have left and I wanna make sure that I make the most of it. I make sure that I plan things with my friends and always go to every plan that they make. I try my hardest to attend every school event that we have and I love going to all the sports games. The one thing I love the most about my friends is that we try to make the best out of every situation. I remember one bonfire in particular where when we went to the beach, there were no pits open. At first, everyone was very bummed out because we knew that we wouldn't have a bonfire. However, we were able to make the most out of it. We ended up digging a hole in the sand and placing firewood in it to make a makeshift pit. And although the day started off very badly, it ended up being a great day. I've made a few solid groups of friends and I've come to learn that this is very important during these high school years. We try to capture every fun moment that we have with pictures because we know that these memories will last us a lifetime. During these high school years, another activity that we love to do as a group of friends is go to concerts. Over the course of a few years, we've attended concerts of many famous rappers. One of the most unique things about a concert is the environment that it's able to create. Everyone is there to have a good time and everyone is able to relate to each other through the music. I was able to meet many great people through the concert that I have attended. Another thing I love to do is travel. My family and I love to go to new places and experience new things. One of the most beautiful places I've ever been to is Kenya. At first, I was a little bit skeptical about the idea of traveling to Africa. However, after this experience, I would love to go again. Going to a zoo has always been fun, but after seeing all these animals in their natural habitats, I don't think I'll ever be able to go back to a zoo again. We saw everything from rhinos, lions, to even leopards. 
We also stood on the equator, which was also a very good experience. If I was to recommend one place to go and visit, it would have to be Kenya, just because of the absolute beauty of these animals. Another place I traveled to was San Francisco, and although it was not as amazing as Kenya was, it was still a great experience and I would love to go there again. This year for soccer has so far been the best. I've made unbreakable bonds with people I will never forget. After having a successful season and going to CIF, I realized that I've made unbreakable bonds with these people. I've realized that these people will always stick by my side and I've always got theirs. In just one short year, we became more than just a team. We became a family. Through all of this, I've realized that life is too short and we need to make the most of every single day. Thank you for listening to my last lecture.